Hey, let's take a look at the home screen features of iTunes 9. So this is pretty simple stuff, and it's pretty cool. So here's iTunes 9. Um, it's going to play songs off your local drive just like you'd expect. It does a fine job of that. Um, but if you look over here, you can see that in addition to the regular streaming icon, um, there's this home icon. And actually, all this means is that uh, this machine, this is my the laptop that I DJ from, has been enabled for home sharing. And that, all, all I've done is I've typed in uh, the same iTunes account uh, information on, onto that machine is, is this machine. And, and you can enable up to five machines for home sharing. Um, so, you know, fundamentally, this works exactly the same as streaming. Um, just click and play on songs that you want. Um, but what you can also do, and this is pretty much a no-brainer, I can't believe it's taken them until iTunes 9 to, to, to sort this out, is um, you can just drag and drop uh, these tracks into your local library, uh, which is not something you could do before. So, uh, for example, on my, on my DJ laptop, I DJ with my friend Lauren, um, and I, you know, these are these are his tracks. And I really like this Mano remix that he has um it sounds pretty good so i i just want it so i'm just going to take it and drag it into uh my playlist and that, i mean that's that's really simple and it's something that i've wanted to do for a long time honestly it's, it's something i really want to do for a long time um just be able to to do that with other computers these are my computers um on my network and just be able to um to transfer music directly within iTunes without having to screw around. Um, so there are some options here. Um, right now, this this view is showing all of the items in the library uh, on that machine, but I can filter it by ID3 tag. Um, Apple says it says show items not in my library, but really what it's doing is it's showing items that don't have the same ID3 tags. Um, and the reason I make this distinction is um, because some of these songs are in my local library. Um, they're just not tagged the same. And, you know, obviously, um, if you've got sort of a hodgepodge of library like I do, like I've got CDs that I've ripped in, on two different machines in two different formats. I've got random tracks that other people have given me. Um, you know, there's not a lot of ways for Apple to figure out or for iTunes to figure out that those are actually the same tracks. Um, so this is, you know, if you've got a library that's, um, a little more perfectly managed or a little more perfectly tagged, or if you know, if you're just buying everything from Apple, um, you're probably going to be better off with this feature, but it, there it is. Um, there are also some settings, um, and this is one of those things that's a little, a little limited. Um, it could be better. Um, you can automatically transfer all the purchases you make in the iTunes store. So if, you know, if I buy on that laptop, if I bought some music, it would automatically just sync over to my local machine. Or if I, you know, I bought movies or TV shows or apps or something. Um, but it's not just for general library edition. So it doesn't say automatically transfer all new content. It's just all new purchases. Um, and that's, you know, it could be, that could be more open. It, you know, Apple could make it so that it automatically transferred all new editions so that, you know, you were essentially syncing your machines. But that's, sadly, it's just for purchases. Um, lastly, this applications one um, is pretty interesting because this enables you to buy iPhone apps on machines that you're not syncing your iPhone with necessarily. And it sort of also enables you to sync your iPhone with more than with one machine because now your apps are in more than one place. Um, you know, you've got to use the same iTunes store account. I don't, you know, it's, it's an interesting addition that you can sync the apps from machine to machine, but you know, really the, the point of apps is to run them in the iPhone, not to, to move them around your network. Um, so it's interesting that it's there. Um, maybe, Maybe there's some more functionality to it that'll be unveiled in the future, but um, that's just sort of, it's, it's, it's definitely just randomly interesting that it syncs apps as well. But fundamentally what you're doing here, um, and again, this is such simple functionality that I've wanted for so long, is uh, you're just taking songs that you like, um, and you're saying, I just want them on, uh, on this machine. And that's it. And it's so simple, but it's, uh, it's a pretty big addition and a pretty cool addition to iTunes 9. So that is home sharing.